Okay, we're already having a good time here. <laughs> Frank is with us. Frank Caliendo is here, maybe the most talented impressionist working today. You know him from uh, John Madden and John Gruden and so many others. But now, you, my friend, <laughs> you have been given an extraordinary gift. Yeah. His name is Donald Trump. Yes. <laughs> He's the gift that keeps on so giving. So Frank has a series of new videos, hashtag if Trump were, like this one. If Trump were... Thank you for coming to Trump Confessionals, the number one confessional in not just the United States, but the entire world, and that includes the Vatican. It really does. I, I got in an argument with my neighbor. It was over this wall that I built between our, our properties. Try, I'm trying to absorb this. You you built the wall? Yes, I did. Then make him pay for it. I, I can ask him. No, you tell him. Asking will get you nowhere. You just tell people what to do. It's in my book, The Art of the Deal. This has been fun. Go say five R. Donalds and three Hail Melanias. Oh, my. How much of the Donald is right here? That's all right there. And it is. And it's tremendous. It really is. Oh it's just, I call it the pizza slice. Uh, it's like a slice of pizza triangle going downward that you look at the eyes, nose, and mouth. It's all. And that's right. I've lost like 60 pounds, so it helps. You have. Yeah. By the way, could you stand up, please? I want people to see I Frank Kelly. I, I, I right? came over expecting a different Frank. Congratulations. I, I thought your kid, you your kid brother was coming in, I right? know. You look younger. You look great. Yeah. So how'd you do it? So many people are trying to uh, Running and ping pong, actually. Ping believe pong? Yeah, I thought you tennis. were joking when you said no, ping yeah, pong. No, yeah. You tennis. really yeah. work up a sweat. Absolutely. Yeah, moving around. I burned 2,500 calories in four hours one time. Are you good? Uh, I'm fairly good. There are yeah, people that are a lot four, better. Four hours. You better be good by now. All right, <laughs> let, let's get back. Let's get back uh, to something funny. Let's get That's back, get back to something we, more well, funny. Well, oftentimes you're asked this, and I've asked you this as well. There are some impressions that come to you very quickly, and some you really have to work on. Yeah. Trump? Trump I'd been doing for a while, and I'd actually done a sketch with him years ago. Uh, that was one of the first times he was running for president. And it was interesting, halfway through the sketch, he looks around and goes, is this funny? Is this good? Is everybody, it was on, it was on the Fox pregame at the time. He's mm -hmm. like, is, that, is this good? And everybody, yes, Mr. Trump, fantastic. Mr. Trump was great, Mr. Trump. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Does anybody ever say something's not good? He's like, no, Frank, that's part of the problem. I can't get real answers. <laughs> so I was like, oh, he gets it. That was one of those moments for me. But for Trump. He's it, an entertainer. Oh, yeah. And in the debates, you can't beat him in a debate. I talk about this in my act because he argues like a five-year-old. It's yeah. impossible. They're like, Donald, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, well, you're a duty head. You're the stupidest, <laughs> stupid face I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've seen a lot of stupid people. Listen, listen, the reason I'm beating everybody, I don't even have to look at anything. I can close my eyes and I'm actually seeing myself. It's an out-of-body experience where I'm actually inside my body twice and it sounds weird but it's actually happening right now I can tell by the way I'm, I'm not even gonna have a I'm not even gonna have a sidekick that's what I call the vice president as a sidekick I'm not gonna have a sidekick I'm just gonna have a puppet hand and it's going to be me it's going to be puppet Donald Trump it'll be tremendous and it will be talking to each other the entire time what, what, oh is he, what does he think of your impression do you know uh he liked it he, yeah. he you know he had fun with it I don't yeah. know about now but, yeah, but back, I don't know, I don't know but back then he was he has was anybody ever been mad at you for the impression well John Madden didn't like me for the longest time and I met him at the Super Bowl years ago yeah. and Jimmy Johnson football coach not the race yeah. car driver standing next to him I'm like Jimmy can you believe I'm this close to John Madden? I was like what you haven't met him taps me on the shoulder he's like what is it Jim oh and the look on his face <laughs> is like with Shaggy and Scooby see the bad guy popping up the mirror like he's like hey Scooby like let's get out of here rut rope so I made his grandkids laugh and that was a you know people used to think that Terry Bradshaw and I hated each other yeah. but that's just yeah. part that of the fun yeah. that's that fun the, you know yeah. not funny Frank that was always the yeah. thing and it, one of, part of my favorite, one of my favorite things during football season is seeing Terry Bradshaw commercials because uh, I, I, there's no way that somebody else wrote those. It's uh, like he got, I got a better idea. Like <laughs> I'm Terry Bradshaw, and I, I, I got shingles. Let me come in your house and sit on your couch and tell you about it. How about you tell me from the car? How about that? <laughs> How about you call it in? To, I'm Terry Bradshaw, and I got leprosy. Check out where my arm used to be. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Do a little more Madden first. You know, you think of all the things you can do and all the things you don't do in between those sets of things. Boom. <laughs> that just took me to football season. Right? And it's, now well, I used to weird. explain that's all. Like yeah, a, that's like, that's all. That's yeah. What is that? That's, yeah. that's like a steak. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, yeah, that, well, that's Brett Favre. That's the entire. <laughs> who has, who That's has, a Brett Favre Hall of Fame bust stuck right in there. He only talks about Brett Favre. Oh, he's loved Brett Favre. Well, he yeah. says. I don't know. And John Gruden does the thing, same thing. Aaron Rodgers, man. I love this guy. He's oh, tremendous. so good. I mean, yeah, Gruden, Gruden's got that look on his face. That's... Like, I'll tell you what, man. I'm having a good day. Then why do you look like you're going to shoot my <laughs> eyes out with your laser beam eyes? I'll tell you what, man. Did you see that? That movie, those clips, man. That... Have you done Gruden to Gruden? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and how does he do it? Oh, he had fun. He's like, he looked at me. Who? He eyed me up like, I'll tell you what, Steve. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Do you drink coffee? Uh, no, I just How start doing this. Happen? I mean, I was watching the I was watching the clips from Vivica, Vivica Fox, and I was just I was in there just talking like Trump. I'm going to build a wall and keep the aliens out of this <laughs> planet. It's going, to, it's going to work that way. Jeff Goldblum's there going, Ah, what do we do? What do we do? It's weird. It's weird. What do we do? We save the world uh, we can, with a ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, a so Macintosh do, computer. Do you yes. Think and impressions. I do kind of, it's like when you think about the person, you find out what's the take on the person. Like, uh, uh, for example, uh, we see people in movies, like for uh, Liam Neeson, he's become this action star. Right. right. And it's from that phone call. Mm -hmm. The phone call in right. the Taken movies, which I would love. Mm. Wouldn't you be a great being a telemarketer? You call Liam Neeson's house, Mr. Neeson. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I don't know what you want. If you're looking for me to take a short survey, I can tell you this: I don't have the time. What I do have are a very particular set of skills, skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. And if you don't hang up right now, I will find you. I will hunt you down. And and that's when the caller realized that you called Morgan Freeman. Oh, I love the idea. Frank, Frank is here today because he's at the uh, uh, Irvine Improv. You have Tonight. to go. Tonight at 7.30 and 9.40. Oh There's my a heavier gosh. Me, right? How yeah. long is the show? Because I want like it to be five hours long. Well, it's, it's five hours packed into about an hour. Perfect. That's what it is. 7.30, so. 9.45. Tomorrow night shows at 7 and 9.